in today's mail I got this package from China straight from Banggood and it was sent to me by Jason who asked me to review an ESP32 module that has some extra features to it. So let's have a look at this. It is quite large for an ESP32 module, uh, but it is that size for a reason, because it's got a 18650 battery holder at its back. Very nice. And a power switch and a charge circuit as it seems, and of course a USB connector that will uh, connect to the USB to serial bridge and of course the ESP room 32 module and an OLED display. So this thing screamed to me, turn me into a web radio and I googled for ESP 32 web radio OLED and found this repository on GitHub. So I will clone this repository to my ESP 32 development virtual machine. And that will take a bit of time because my DSL connection is not too fast at the moment. Now, once we have cloned that repository, I need to configure the, the build environment. make menu config. I can set some parameters. Most importantly I got this uh I get to set the serial port properly. It defaults to COM20 here, but really on this Linux machine it's def TTY USB zero. Uh, if you do if you're unsure about that in, insert it and have a look at your D message uh protocol so you'll find out what it is on your machine. I enable the OLED display and I set the audio output to PDM, uh, which gives us a nice output on two of the GPIO pins. And of course, you got to set your Wi-Fi name and credentials, which is none of your business here, of course. And once we've done that, we can save the configuration. Okay, so this module that we have here is slightly different from the module that the developer of this web radio uh, had. Um, so we got to change the clock pin for the OLED module to GPIO4 and the data pin for the OLED module to GPIO5. Otherwise it, ju it just won't work. Right. One directory level up and then just go make. Now I have a rather slow machine for the build environment here. It's, it's just a virtual machine running on a, on an old, um, Intel i3 machine. And the build process has been sped up three times here. So you don't have to wait all the way through it, but it still does take an awful lot of time. So if you get a more powerful machine, you will have less wait time than I do. So I had to cheat here a bit to stay with my, within my five minute project limit. But then again, once this firmware has been built, uh, we can flash it to the module with make flash. And once that has been completed, there's nothing keeping us from listening to the web radio.
So if I power it on, it shows us the stream address and the local address of the module here in my local Wi-Fi network. Now I connected um, an earphone to, to see if I get a data stream. And if I probe on pin 25 and 26, I can hear the, the radio stream on, on the earphones, but that's too faint for the, for the camera's microphone to pick up. So there you have it, web radio. Piece of cake, really.